So as uh, the elections are inching closer, the political blame game is also intensifying. Union Home Minister Amit Shah plays down former Chief Minister Jagdish Shetar exist. Exit claiming that uh, BJP will win the elections and he will not. Karnataka Congress Chief D.K. Shiv Kumar replied to that over parties Linga Chief Minister face. Uh, Amit Shah termed Shetar's exist as an internal decision and Shetar's shift to the Congress is not a loss to the party. That Lingayats are still supporting the party. People of Karnataka are also on the side of the BJP, he said. Hitting back at the Home Minister, Jagdish Shetar replied, predicting a BJP wipeout. He has said that the Congress will get a clear majority in this elections. Ubrin ne hamesa bhartiya janta party ko vote diya hai, Ubrin ne kisi vyakti ko nahi diya hai. Aur bhartiya janta party ka karekata ek must hai, ek jhoot hai, aur Ubrin ke andar nishti trup se bhartiya janta party chunao chiti ki. Anyhow, some corruption is there, so it is a 30-40%. So, it is, I leave it to the people, and what corruption is there, already there, public will know. Corruption, what are the corruption going on in the last one? Who will be the CA? And with assembly elections coming in, it's also about polarization. The controversy over Muslim quota in election bound Karnataka is escalating. On Monday, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, who's in Karnataka, reiterated the claim that religion based quota was unconstitutional. Claiming the Congress implemented religion-based quota just for vote bank appeasement politics, Amit Shah said the government has worked towards social justice by abolishing the Muslim quota. Moreover, BJP President J.P. Nadda also questioned Congress's stand on this quota controversy, claiming that the Congress wants to withdraw the quota given to Lingayats and Vokaligas also. Nadda has said Congress doesn't have any sentiment toward people. Earlier, remember, senior Congress leader Siddharamaya and D.K. Shiv Kumar claimed that Congress will revive old reservation system and will bring back the Muslim quota. It is now up to the Supreme Court that will be hearing the petitions challenging government's decision to scrap the 4% OBC quota for the members of Muslim community. The court had earlier adjourned the hearing made with a request by the state. Why are they saying now that they are going to withdraw the Lingayat reservation which we have given? Why are they saying that they will withdraw Vokalinga uh, reservation which we have given? So they have no, no sentiment. It is division with which they believe. They want to divide the society. And we believe to unite the society and make a strong society. Why are they saying now that they are going to withdraw the Lingayat reservation which we have given? India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when data politics unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's hundred percent news that matters it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai Monday to Friday 9 p.m. only on India Today TV